Hey everybody, we are Robert, Martin, and Francis, and this is Snakes and Otters, pointless discussion of eternal questions. Get ready, we're about to live in your head rent-free. Welcome back to Snakes and Otters, everybody. This is episode 14, already to number 14. Can you believe it? I love it. So, okay. I am Robert. I'm Martin. I'm Francis. So today, we, uh, we, we kicked around an idea a while back, and we thought we got to do this as a show. And I think this is an excellent idea because, really, it turned out to be far more interesting. That's right. We spent so much more time before we even realized it. It, mm -hmm. it happened so fast. We went so far with it. This has got to be an episode. So the three of us, uh, certainly myself, uh, probably more so than the two of you, yes. really into the alternative history That's kind of right. Stuff. You read far more of that. Harry yes. Turtledove is one yes. of the great authors that you've read a lot of. I have. Uh, I like stuff that takes uh, history or situations and turns them on their side okay yeah uh, i'm confused enough by real people that i just stick with real history because <laughs> i gotta figure them out first before mm -hmm. i start looking at making stuff up but whoa boy there's a lot of fun to be had with all there kinds is. of history well look at all the discussions we've had over the years when we first started really doing these kind of discussions about civil war the american mm -hmm. civil war it's kind of where it started yeah yeah you know when we started talking about uh how things went in the Battle at Gettysburg. Right. I mean, that's probably where it really started for us. Right. So there's so many turning points. Right, so many turning points in those three days. So we started talking about more modern stuff, and I believe it was Martin here who brought up this particular topic. What would have happened if Robert F. Kennedy had not been assassinated in 1968? That turned out to be a very fascinating discussion. So... If he's not, just as a broad terms, if he's not assassinated, he gets the nomination. So it's Nixon versus Kennedy again. And that's where the things really start getting interesting. We went way afield. Yeah. And well, we, we started predicting 72, 76. Yeah. And on. That's right. And who, you know, if Nixon loses or if he wins, what happens? You know, what happens to uh, Kennedy if, he, if Kennedy loses? What happens to Nixon if he loses? What happens to the, the events that affect the U.S. after that, that are not necessarily tied to either man in particular. So, it's really a good premise in a treatise of just how important the president really is, or not, to the way history unfolds around us. Because that's kind of where we're going with all yeah. this. It's uh, Because that's what we're asking for here. We're assuming that when Robert, that Robert Kennedy d is not assassinated, for whatever reason, Sir Han, Sir Han... If you want to, if you want to take that, go back in time. He does. He decides not to, for whatever reason. Or, or the, his security. Or he stopped. That's great. Kennedy's That's probably a escorts him, convinces him not to go through the kitchen. Mm -hmm. That was his idea. That's right. Going through the kitchen at the hotel uh, was his idea, and the security told him not to. And Sir Han, Sir Han found him in the kitchen and had his shot, had his opportunity, and changed the world in many respects. Mm -hmm. We don't really know for sure how, but that's what we're going to explore today. And you know that's actually two different twists right there. Yeah, because if he doesn't, if he decides not to do it, that takes us down an entirely different path than whether he attempts and fails, because that affects Kennedy and his standing in the campaign. Yes, it, it does. That's right. Because Sirhan, Sirhan, if he is foiled by circumstance, will not stop potentially and come back. Whereas if he is caught, it's over. Right. And how much does that boost Kennedy versus Nixon? Yes. So, uh, well, here, I'm going to challenge you, though. Play it out. Play it out. Go through to November. Okay. That's where I want you to start. Right. So, and that's about where I was going to go. So, good thinking. So, we've got the assassination attempt. The uh, primaries are not yet over, but Kennedy's going to win. That's I mean, right. That, yeah. that's, He's that's won the California gone. primary. Yeah. It's, uh, the, it's pretty the much writing is very much on the wall. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, he would have to seriously screw up to not win at that point. And it can be said that dying would count for that. Yeah, that's yeah. correct. So he wins the nomination. So he has momentum. Because he has momentum. He, yeah, and plus, he's a Kennedy. He's young, he's good looking. His, his brother was assassinated. His brother was assassinated. Only four years, three year, five years previously. Right. He's got everything going for him in that sense. He's got uh, you know good looks. The man, even though I'm you know, not generally would think of myself as somebody who would vote for a Kennedy, but the man, from what I've seen of him, he genuinely cared. Correct. He's very, art and he's very art he's, he's yeah, sincere, and he's very articulate about it, too. Yeah. 
uh, there's video of him visiting uh, poverty-stricken areas in the South, places that even in 1968, or maybe before, might have been before he ran, but yeah. it was um, it was during that mid-60s, yes. that didn't even have running water and electricity yet. Just barely 50 years ago. That's right. He was practically moved to tears. So, yes, there is it a... It was a genuine that's missing from contemporary politics. That yes. Is, on that, every side. That's correct. And, you know, I don't know that, uh, you know, Nixon put in the same place would have had that same kind of response. So that's a fair, fair assessment. Yeah. It, it, well, most politicians wouldn't. Johnson you know? wouldn't either. No. So, that's a, so that sincerity is a big thing. So assuming he wins, he's going to run a campaign. And so as we talked about before, uh, he, he, he was running a let's get out of Vietnam kind of campaign. Yes, okay. But before you get there, I want you to talk about Chicago. Oh, yes. The convention. Yes, because we what role came to that the, second. The street yeah. violence play. So he gets the he gets to Chicago, and we believe that the the riots in Chicago still happened. That was not because he didn't get elected. That was going to happen anyways. Yeah. So as that tainted the Democratic nominee, who wasn't Kennedy, who was Hubert Humphrey. That's right. It's going to taint him, too, because he's going to be painted with... Because the, they weren't Republicans who showed up, right? They were the young who would have been most likely to support the Democrats anyways. Yes. Now, they may not have been party-affiliated, but they would have been Democrat supporters. That's yeah. why they went, right? right. Uh-huh. So, that's going to paint him with that brush, just like it painted Hubert Humphrey. To Mr. and Mrs. America sitting at home, that had to have been scary as hell. Now, obviously, we were you know just a couple of years old. At yeah, time, I mean right? it's a it's a vote for this guy, and you get street violence in every city in America. Right, even which, though which it's happened eventually anyway. Well, almost. Yeah. but the but the change here versus Humphrey and Kennedy is the specter, and I, we've, we've talked about this earlier. The specter of his dead brother does that re, the uh, the opportunity to reverse Oswald's decision, so to speak. Does that factor in significantly enough to override all that Chicago stuff? That's one of the issues where we really never... I don't think we can tell. Of, of course, this is all know, speculation this, this on our far part. back. All depends on... And I'm sure something's available, but how accurate it would be compared to today's polling. You know, Where was Kennedy polling versus Nixon? Where was Kennedy polling versus Nixon on the issues? Like Vietnam and the economy and, and everything. There, else. of course, is where in the whole thing lays because it is those issues. No, that's a presumption. Maybe we shouldn't say that. Do people did people in 1968 vote the issues or did they vote the image? It's both. It's, both. it's, it's both. right. They're not. They're some not people only, exclusive. Some people only vote for their party candidate. That's right, and that's all they will ever vote for. And, you and, and yet, Nixon wins in a landslide over Human Humphrey. Right. You have to remember too, when Nixon talks about silent majority, that's important. That is correct. That's right. What people are seeing on their TV is alien to them. Mm -hmm. We right. tend to remember all that stuff because it's nostalgic, and we think about the music and the what ifs, and 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 oh man, the freedom of getting in your VW bus and driving across the country. We never did all music. that crap. <laughs> and a whole a huge of chunk of the country did not either. That's right. I mean, that's when you look at high school photographs from 1968, you're still going to see most of them. The White shirts have short, and black ties. Have short hair. Yeah, that's right. You know, it at, at the moment of 1968, the counterculture is still not a huge representative. It's still somewhat embryonic. Yeah. Well, it, yeah. yeah, it's it's certainly not spread as far as it will later. Mm hmm um, Woodstock is still a year yep. off, right? That's right. Yes, 69. Woodstock is 69. So, and Altamont is 70. Yeah, 70. And Kent State 62, or 72, I mean. Yeah, and Manson is 72. 70. And he's yeah. 69, 70, I think. Yeah, yeah. maybe he's 71. Yeah. Uh, um, give or take. So, I, yeah. All those watershed moments that we talk about so much. post Assassination, post assassination, yeah, yeah. I mean, and it, post convention it, because there's where the difference comes. Yes, and it's, also post election, it's post very general much election. The, yes, the counterculture butting up against mainstream culture in a lot of those episodes. So you Altamont, Woodstock, uh, Manson, 
That's all bumping up against each other. And 68 would have been the first time that I can think of where you had those kind of demonstrations on television where everybody could see it in their living room. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not to say there were not riots in the United States before then. But it was never in your living room. Yeah, in April of 68, obviously there's riots after Dr. King is killed. Right. Right, yeah. but yeah, I mean, same and thing. How, I mean, and yeah. how much and you, coverage do those get? And though? you're well, also right so, too that's gonna because be, that's uh, going to be racially King and yeah. slanted. King quite a bit, yeah. and our Robert Kennedy's assassinations are almost synonymous. They're just they're just weeks apart, really. Yeah, they're they're eight they, weeks apart. Exactly. So you're talking that about that that has created a culture here in the minds of the American people that may not, if you remove that. Because that's what we're talking about. We're just changing Kennedy's assassination. King is still assassinated. That That's going to be out they're, there. They're both body blows, but how do people interpret those body blows? Right. Especially given that, you know, as much as it pains me to say it, how much did white America care that Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated? In 68? Yeah. I think it's the lawlessness of it that yes. had the reaction. The, that, that, the riots I, I afterwards definitely would have been... Yeah. A, you know, slap in the face to white America, who had most of the power, like ninety nine percent of it. But even, you know? I think regular people would have thought it's awful that he was killed. That's yes. another. That's another side of the lawlessness coin mm-hmm. that made Nixon so appealing. Yeah. Well, explore that. What do you mean? Nixon was appealing because he was what the law and order candidate. Yes. Well, and right. also he Is also that- represents the the last golden era uh, of. U.S. society. Yeah, I mean, he's Eisenhower's vice president. Right. He, uh, he has, but he has that. Kennedy is the brother of John F. Kennedy, who had his own golden age in a different party. It's re- different in time. retrospect. That's it's correct. in retrospect. But though. it's powerful it's at this point. It's yeah. five years after I the fact. I don't know that. I do think that there's no way well, that it was as right. big five years after as we see it today. But then perhaps. Camelot is an invention of the Kennedy people. Well, that's correct. The people around them. But it worked. It, it's it, become it, part of, but it is there. It is there in 68. That's why, I guess, in order for us to move this discussion forward, we got to make a decision. Does Kennedy win in 68 if he lives, or does he not? Well, that's where that's what everything turns on. That's correct. Right. Ultimately, and the, everything else is moot. I submit that he does because of his br- dead brother's legacy. I think that pushes right. him over. Well, that overwhelms a lot of the other stuff. But you think otherwise. Yes. Here's where I'm going to piss in the suit. Very well, very well put. I like that. <laughs> Not that I'm we suggesting that, say the bourbon. Course. That's right. No, no. Because that would never, be awful. Never, never. So in doing some research on this, I think there's some points in our original discussion that we missed. Sure. And we were, we, this was just freewheeling at the time we yes, discussed it. Yes, very freewheeling. But doing some further research, the circumstances are Eugene McCarthy declares as a candidate first. And he's the first to declare as an open anti-war candidate against Johnson. Johnson okay. remains in the primaries through in the election March? Uh, April? Somewhere in there. Until around, the time. around New Hampshire. Mm-hmm. He would have been McCarthy. February, wouldn't it? He, well, yeah, it's, it's he, early. He beats McCarthy, but only by about four percentage points. He's starting to see, I'm going to have my hands full. People are turning against what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Kennedy originally was going to stay out. Okay. McCarthy's people saw him as an opportunist because he jumped in after saying he would stay out. Right. He jumped in when... Johnson was perceived as weak, and there was an opportunity. This is he jumped. Now I don't have the details here, but he jumps in before Johnson declares he's not running. I know. I believe it's after. All right, it's after. So in many respects, he is seeing a wide open field here that he's got an opportunity. He sees with. only one other candidate. He sees Eugene McCarthy. Eugene McCarthy. Which well, is, right. That which but which is both, easily beatable. They're well, but they're both eating each other because they're. They're playing to the same base. The same crowd, Mm -hmm. the same base. Mm -hmm. Because they're both anti-war candidates. Now, here's... Yes, they're both anti-war candidates. Now, here's the rub. In 68, there are only 14 primaries. The rest of the 
delegates are going to be assigned by state legislatures. Hmm. And the president, That's Johnson... That's very alien to us currently yes, in 2019. Right. We're, it's like, whoa. Well, the president and Hubert Humphrey control all of that. So, again, this rosy lens of Kennedy has all this momentum in California, it's actually still a very uphill climb for Kennedy because he is still down 150 delegates to Humphrey, even though Humphrey's not in any of the primaries. He declared too late. The only delegates he's going to get from primaries are these favorite son candidates that kind of ran in his place. Who have a handful of delegates that, that they'll give them? They'll turn over to Humphrey. So, even though my contention is, even though Kennedy comes out of California with this great win mm -hmm. that maybe neutralizes McCarthy, right, and gives him the chance to take over that anti-war uh, banner, it's not enough. It may not be enough because of two things. Again. Humphrey has a huge lead, and they control the state legislatures. The machine and controls Lin everyone. And Lyndon Johnson absolutely despises Bobby Kennedy. There's no way yeah. he's going to ever support him in any fashion. Right. They're going to do everything they can to wheel this to Humphrey. Right. The other thing is, too, again, this rosy look back of, well, the whole Democratic Party was anti-war. Not no, not at all. No, no. no not so, in 68. So, my contention is, Kennedy comes close. Daly is actually the power broker. Where okay. the Illinois delegation goes is all up to Daly. Right. And if Humphrey says, I'll put you on the ticket, done deal. Humphrey's the nominee. Bobby Kennedy would never have gone as a vice presidential candidate, I don't think, with Hubert Humphrey. No. Daily. It, oh, daily. Okay, daily. Sorry, sorry. Humphrey approaches Daily and says, put me over the top, you're on the ticket. So it's a Humphrey Daily ticket. And Bobby Kennedy mm -hmm. is, is frozen out. Is frozen out. For now. Therefore, Nixon is Thanos. He's inevitable. Snap. I love, that. <laughs> I love the way that you did that. Nice All one. Right. Nice okay. one, Zedrian. Like right. it. So it. if that is, that is the premise. Now, the, when we postulated this earlier, we postulated Bobby Kennedy winning in 68. Yes. To, to stay with you just for friendship. <laughs> just, for, just for fellowship. Fellowship. For fellowship, as yeah. Thomas Moore would say. For fellowship, we'll go with you on this. Hubert Humphrey gets his ass still trounced. By Richard Nixon Again, in 68. The, the 68 riot at the convention, I, I think, is enormous. Okay. And Humphrey yeah. has so little credibility as an anti-war candidate. That's right. So that portion of the party, no matter how big it is, they stay home anyway. All right. So you have got, in 72, you have got an incumbent Nixon, free of scandal at this point, although certainly the war has ratcheted up significantly in people's minds in four years. But I don't think we're free of scandal. No, we're free of Watergate, of course, because that happened. But yeah, there, there may be other issues. We'll, we'll go to but that in the a second. Watergate is 72. That's when the break-in occurred. That's right. So, But it hasn't hit yet yeah. because, I mean, he, he wins in a landslide. Well, but what we're talking about here is Bobby Kennedy's alive. Yes. He was shut out at 68. There's almost no way that you can postulate, unless you can tell me otherwise, that McGovern comes to the, to the ascendancy here. Bobby Kennedy comes to ascendancy. Oh, so you're saying there's going to That's be correct. a Nixon-Kennedy It's not 72. 68, it's 72. Because Bobby Kennedy is alive. He was shut out at 68. 68 was an absolute disaster for the Democrats. So they realized this whole Humphrey... Johnson, Johnson has been sidelined. He no longer has the power. Yes. Humphrey is gone. Bobby Kennedy has a free reign here. He has, he, he won the California primary. He came damn close. He's the perfect anointed son. His bre dead brother, all that well, stuff. Well, he, he has the operation. He has the apparatus. Correct. There's almost no way that it doesn't happen that he gets the nomination and he goes up against Richard Nixon in 72. Now what happens? Now what happens? That's right. Thanos may have been inevitable, but that doesn't mean he's all lasting forever. McGovern was a joke. We know this. Well, we'll play it out. I'll play it All out. Right. Let's play it out. All right. He beats McGovern. 
Nixon again. He's he's Nixon. He's inevitable. He's still a paranoid loon, basically. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Nixon loon probably, might be a little too strong. But Nixon's problem is the same as is our friend, you know who, is that he brings himself to the party. Yes, George McClellan. That's who we're talking about. So, yes. I still think there's the plumbers unit and the break-ins of Daniel Ellsworth. There's, I think no, there's, reason still a to, there's no reason to think this wouldn't happen. That's right. If so it's Bobby Kennedy I don't or think George any, McGovern, who I don't cares? think anything plays out differently well, from Nixon. Well, leaning at, there's still a break well, in. They get caught or not, that's the question. All right. They'll still get caught. All right, well, let's, let's assume just for, because we have to be able to play this narrative out. Yeah, because unless you can neutralize Forrest Gump, they're going to get caught. That's exactly right. <laughs> so, so we're presuming <laughs> here that, but it still doesn't affect, but Watergate does not come to light until after the election. So let's it's assume. It's just a break in. Right. It's point. not tied to the president until after the election. The that's correct. Until after. So. Going into the 72 election, you have Bobby Kennedy versus an incumbent Richard Nixon. Yes. Who wins? Does Nixon have... Because McGovern is an unpalatable candidate. Bobby Kennedy is very different from that. But they're still both running on essentially the same platform. Do people vote the platform? I think you can make an argument that... Nixon is coming into this with the idea of I'm making progress in the war. Don't change horses now. Well, the American the, people are notorious for not throwing out incumbents. We don't do that. We believe uh, that, that I say it doesn't happen. Jimmy Carter is a good example, but as a general well, rule, the first Bush. Well, that's correct, yeah. and that's another example. But as a general rule. We don't like... We want to give you another shot. It's more of a 20th century phenomenon. It is. It is. And also the fact mm-hmm. that you've got the bully pulpit and the power. Well, and I think... The thing that you ha- Nixon has going for him is that it's still 1972. Yeah. All of the things that we associate with Nixon's presidency as being bad or mm-hmm. catastrophic have not happened. That's right. It's after that. Even though it happens around that time. Right. We don't get it until after. Right. So, I mean, you know, the wage and price controls. Oh, God. Not happened yet. You know, the break-in has not come to light yet. Yep. The economy has not tanked. OPEC has not reared its ugly head. We've not had gas lines. All of that stuff is second term. So, he's looking like a great statesman because he's gone to Russia. I mean, he's gone to China. Gone to China. Yes, that's very important. That is a huge it deal. It is a huge deal. Nixon went going to China is a big deal. Again, he's making progress. He has the North Vietnamese at the table. And, as I mentioned before, Nixon's argument from 68 forward is all of you anti-war candidates have no credibility with the North Vietnamese. If you're saying you're getting out, they'll never come to the table. We've talked about that when we are in our prep on this. So Nixon always has that advantage. He's the one that can get the North Vietnamese to the table. No one else can. I still think he wins in '72. If if Nixon, probably a lot closer. Well, yeah, I mean, because it's going to be close. It the, will be. It yeah, will right. be super close. Again, right, that's, Kennedy, that's probably I, fair. I'll give you Kennedy is a super charismatic fellow. That's correct. And there is a lot of all right. By the time you hit '72, you're talking a good ten year, twelve years. People are aching for a return of of Jack. That's right. All right. There's still no chap equipment right. because, as we talked before, that was because they were gathering to remember Bobby, Bobby Kennedy. Yeah. All right. So let's oh, let's play this out. We're going to have to take this in two different forks here. We're going to yeah. take a fork in the road. We're going to take the fork in the road. A that Nixon wins against Bobby Kennedy. What happens after that? Nothing different. Nothing different. He's Thanos. He's inevitable. That's, well, if if, he's if, paranoid, if Nixon, the break-ins happen, he's going to have to resign. It's a disaster. But Kennedy's future is destroyed. It has to be. Is what no, you're saying. No. All right. Well, then that's what I'm asking. He's lost a close election in 72. Right. He's still out there. That's right. But he's not going to run a third time. Well, that's my question. He's yeah, not. He will. Yeah, he will. He's not going to he's not going to get the nomination and he's it, not going to win. He, yeah, if he that's We a good don't question. give people uh, other than Stephen Jennings Bryan well, William, Adlai, Jennings, Adlai, William Jennings Bryan. Sorry. Adlai Stevenson guy. And Adlai Stevenson. We don't give guys the nomination more than twice, and twice is really difficult now. Well, that would just be a second nomination. It would be a second nomination. Be a well, that's true. Because he, he, right. third he, try. Third try. Or true try. Reagan that's right. tried. That's it's another a, thing I found out. Reagan was considered as a serious candidate in 72. In 68, 72. Then but he, he didn't run. 
He made a serious run then in '76, which we all remember. But he was he was considering it even right. as governor. Sorry, so we're, so we have three forks in this damn road. But so if we he had gotten the, the nomination and lost, he would not have. Well, see, that's what we're talking about here. Because if Bobby Kennedy gets the nomination, there's no question. If he lives, if he doesn't get it in '68, he's going to get the nomination in '72. He's right. going to go against. But if he still Nixon. loses, he's done. If he all right, that's then that's that's one good premise. And then he's an elder statesman. He's a Democrat. He'll be like Ted Kennedy was. He'll probably still be in the Senate. He'll be he'll the Senate. Biden. He'll stay. He'll have. He'll have. That's right. He'll have his place. He'll have his that's, voice. You know. I mean, that's let's low. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what you're talking about here. But, but right, now, look at Biden. But how? I mean, his last right. credible run is now almost thirty years ago. Well, but but the and here is, he is. But Kennedy, and Robert Kennedy, a is a unique individual. I don't think we've really hit this well enough. Because well, we've talked about no, it a he's bit. unique because of his brother at this point, not because of any because he, he wasn't assassinated. That's right. But is no. he really? Is he? Is he that? Because we know him to be moral. We know him to be honest. Well, we 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 we, 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 we postulated that he is moral. He is honest, and he is charismatic. People will respond to him not just because of his dead brother, but that helps. If he if if he loses in seventy two. I do not believe it's all that far of a stretch to see him coming back in 76. Even if he gets nominated in 76, the American people Well, that's are another not, question. That's another they, question. We are not going to elect him. And there's another question. After we've already chosen somebody else once. What is he running against? He's running against Ford. Doesn't matter. Sense. Doesn't matter. I don't think he I don't think he could You think Ford would have won over a Bobby Kennedy even if he I lost think people in 72? were looking for a fresh face. I mean, I think that's that was Carter's power. Yeah, was that he was completely fresh. He wasn't involved in any of that stuff. He doesn't have a Vietnam record. Vietnam's over. Right. What's Kennedy going to run on? Vietnam was his issue, right? Yeah, it's over. Okay. Great society, all that. It's okay. We already did all that. Nixon's already done the Clean Air Act, the Clean Water Act, right? Yep. So what else is there for yeah. somebody I to mean, run I'm, on? I'm kind of where you are. I think 76 he takes off, but he's not done. It's very possible that he, and again, he's got Ted with him. They got the family behind him. He may not they run. Work something out. He may not. He may not even run in '76. If he did, you think it's time for I, a fresh voice? Well, Thanks. if he's going to run at all, he's going to run in '76, right? Because he's not running after that. <laughs> because of the the Nixon Ford thing. Right. So now, when you bring that up, you know, running against Ford, that's a good point. Um, I still don't know. I don't know. It just seems... I just think that... The, I mean, this may be an analysis of the Democratic Party in 1976 that's way off. But I think they wanted somebody different. Yeah, but they didn't have Bobby Kennedy to pick from. How, well, let's put it this way. How many times does somebody run for president before they get the nomination? Nowadays, the idea is that you have two shots at it at most. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it depends a lot on the party, too. Well, it depends on who else is running. Yeah, I mean, well, they're in ascendancy at this point because Watergate has taken their right. opponent down in flames. In many respects, it's almost inevitable that seventy six well, didn't go Democratic. Now, granted, it was it was Carter, so he's not exactly what we would call a strong candidate. No, but Ford did not make a horrible showing against Carter. No, no. I mean, it wasn't you know wipeout like Mondale and. and I'm not. Uh, I don't know that you Reagan. if you if you put if you put Bobby Kennedy in place of Jimmy Carter, I don't. Uh, Jimmy Carter won anyway against Ford. I think Bobby right. Kennedy would win. I really do. So what you're trying to get to is, where does Ronnie come in? Not necessarily. When, when do we get Ronnie? Well, here's what we have. We've got our forks here that we have to talk about. One is, if Nixon wins re-election, Bobby Kennedy wins in '76. Just say that for our example. It's We're possible. We, we we do not think it's. It impossible. could be that that's the perfect storm. I will grant you that. That's that, that's because correct. of what's going on in the Republican Party. We're pretty clear. Bobby Kennedy cannot win in '68, but he he might win in '72. I'd have to look at the the date on all of that. That's I'll right. I'll grant you the premise. Though. All right. Yeah. Let, let, for for our. I mean, example, I, I'm fairly firm that I, I don't think he gets the nomination in '68. Right. So he runs in '72. But I think Nixon 72. is too damn strong in '72. So Bobby Kennedy does not win in 72, even if he's the nominee. That's my feeling. Again, close. If you gave me some polling data, I could be swayed. All right, we'll, figure, we'll figure both of these out. That I don't think you I don't think you, think you could come up with any kind of polling data, simply because he's already dead by then. Yeah. Right. So at this point here, Bobby Kennedy either wins in 72 
or he wins in 76, for purpose of our arguments here. Okay. All right. What is it? What happens if he wins in 72 and upsets Nixon? You think he's inevitable, and he's been inevitable, but maybe there's a change. Or he wins in 76. Let's presume one of those two right. happens. He wins in 72. Nixon he, goes to jail. He gets reelected in 76. Nixon... He's going to go to jail. All right, in 72. Assuming Watergate ever happens. Well, it's going to be traced back thing. to the president. Yeah, it's going to go, it's going to be there. Now, maybe not quite as vigorous as people going after a sitting president, but it's going to come to light that he tried to cheat the election. Now, the tapes then, are at, probably at, gone by then. That's yeah. right. But so they're not even missing 18 minutes. They're, they're, they're in a box in San Clemente, and all you got to do is walk out on the beach and spray lighter fluid on them. Well, right. at this point now, who gives a rat's ass about Nixon? He's no longer president. What? Well, that's true. Now, if we were if he were president today, mm-hmm. oh, I'd say yes. They would go after him afterwards. And they probably will. But ultimately, but I mean, it's a footnote. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, back then, I think it would have been far less vigorous than it would have been today. Yeah. So assuming that Bobby Kennedy wins in 72... Watergate comes to light. Nixon is indicted, but who cares? Bobby Kennedy is he still... He may not in- get indicted, but it's he's it's, it's still going to come out. It's yeah, still going it, to come yeah. out. It's a but, distraction. It's going to happen. You know, the, it's going to be framed as, well, he's already out, so we've already cleaned this up. Right. Bobby's running the government. Honestly, I think in 76, the key question is OPEC. Yeah, see, if that's still the thing. Have, the economy will is still tanked because of oil. So in 76, we right. could be completely well, Inflation wide open. is going out the roof. Inflation, it's all yeah, I don't think that, that a Democrat of his stripe is going to come up with anything that Nixon didn't already do. Yeah. I don't know that he'd do wage and price controls, but... He might have. He might have, that's correct. Um, ultimately, what we're suggesting is no matter what he tries to do, it fails. Right. Nobody could do, fix the problem that was happening at the time. It just depends on maybe some personal diplomacy with OPEC helps. Maybe. 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 It, if that That's the key. If if the gas prices shoot up and the economy tanks, he's out in 76. If not, he wins re-election 76, I think. Yeah, I think it's fair. I think either way, his opponent in 76 is probably Ronnie. Yeah, because Ford doesn't exist. He never, never, he, he never began anything. He never would have left the house, and he right. wouldn't run from the house. That's right. Nope. Who else is there? The governor of California, Ronnie runs. In well, 76. no, we talk about this. There's Nelson Rockefeller, that's who is a major player in the party still. That's in correct. At this point, that's correct. So that's you, his last you, hurrah you in could our have, time. You, yeah. That's right. So you could have had a fight for Bob or, Dole's out there. Nelson Rockefeller's out yes. there. I don't, Dole I, is still pretty young. He's pretty yeah. young. I don't think he's reached his but ascendancy yet. a young Dole versus a young Robert Kennedy Possibly. might have looked good. Possibly. Possibly. You know, I, don't think you was, could, I don't think you could have done an end run around Rockefeller at this point. Not, you see, that's the thing. I don't know that... that I'm, I'm I with think you, you that. can. I, really, he's, he's, fading. he's fading by 76. Well, he, yeah, his health is not good in 76 either. He's, he's pulling himself kind of back anyway. So you're, how, Well, how much, how much is he fading if... We don't have that second Nixon term. Well, and that's one of those unknowns. Of that's what that's kind of where we're going with all this. You know, who else comes up if there's no Nixon? Well, ultimately, there's some surprise. And, and, and you're right. We can't know what we don't know. But ultimately, the only thing we can know is Rock- Rockefeller is still out there. Ronnie is still out there, and that's about it. In the Republican side. That I can recall. That we can, that we can I was recall. ten years old. That's right. I mean, by the time you get to 1980, yes, there are a few more because you know George Bush has served in the Ford administration. Yeah. Oh, so he's busy. George Bush is no. not even a factor because he didn't serve in the Ford That's administration. Right. There is no Ford administration. But ultimately, right. Bobby Kennedy's running things. I don't know that he's beatable <coughs> in '76. I really don't. I don't know. With an economy that's tanked, it's awful hard to get reelected. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, but it's I, tough. But it's then again, uh, and you're right. Maybe so. And there, there could but, be. But you know as well as I do, the economy is only beginning to tank. Most of the bad. Oh stuff no, seventy three is when things no, get bad. real bad. It gets it's bad. bad. It gets real bad. That's when the gas lines start. All those pictures of cars waiting in line. Yeah, and that's from seventy three. See, I, I 73, always thought that 74 was 70, 77, 78. No, it's both. It's both. The first set is 73. Well, inflation, there's two gas inflation prices. Inflation is yes, awful. There's two different because you remember the uh, WIN buttons, mm-hmm. whip, whip inflation yeah, now. Yeah. That's Ford. Yeah. Uh, and that's, well, and that's going to go on, that's too. And it's going to get even worse 74, 75. In, in under Carter, you know, in 77, 78, 79. 
because he doesn't, you know, they don't know how to fix anything, right? Because we've never really dealt with that kind of economic crisis. But before. if you had it's totally an, external, but if you had an incumbent, nobody knows. if you had an incumbent president, does that change it? No, I bet it beats their pair of jacks too. Again, yeah. by the time you have an economic crisis like that, that's gone through the whole decade. And you still have the existential looking. crisis America goes through because of Vietnam. Because of right. Vietnam. In other words, no matter day. who is in that, if a Democrat is in office at that time, they're f- They're yeah. in a very, That's very kind of where difficult we're going here. position. Because when you get that kind of a mess, people are looking for the outsider. They're looking for well, the outsider. Well, Ronald Reagan is definitely and, an and outsider at 76. Yeah. So And in 80. And it, how, it, yeah. of course, it's right. how much of, you know, we talk about how much, uh, you know, it's not just the economy, it's the Vietnam effect. How much of a hangover does the country have from Vietnam? Do we still get out of a, the active war in 1973? Well, it, And then does but, Saigon but, yeah. still fall in yeah. 1975? Does if, it happen if, faster? If does if it get Kennedy drawn out? If wins in 72, I think he gets out almost immediately. Yeah, I, I think that yeah. And Saigon, so you think Saigon, Saigon falls, Saigon falls, falls and, yeah, even a, faster, a little yeah. quicker. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You know, it's not. That so how much, much does that affect? I don't things know, in 1976. I don't know that it does. I think. You no, mean, I, think I mean, differently. How much is affected does. differently? Yeah, but by this point, everybody's worried about the economy. Vietnam is a distant memory at this point because well, if it happens ended. early, it's still some three years. It's three years now. It's again, seen as a huge failure. Yes, because it's still the first war we lose. Yeah. But we do I mean, that anyway, I mean, even with Nixon, though. People vote, right. they vote in Kennedy maybe not understanding what he's talking about. Yeah. They didn't listen to Nixon. He pulls too early. The North Vietnamese, again, have no no reason to talk. They overrun Saigon in 72 or 73. It's well, it huge. can't be 72, but... Well, yeah, 73. Well, it would likely well, be 72. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so you're talking about 73. 73. 74. Yeah, something like that. and... Instead of it's 76. still a huge 75. 75 yeah, yeah. It's still a huge stain on Kennedy's administration. And again, he's an yeah, economic It's a double mess. whammy. It is. It's if you have mess. an economic problem and a foreign relations problem, you are screwed. I don't care who you are. But yet Nixon George was, Washington couldn't get reelected right. under that. But then again, Nixon was extremely popular if it weren't for Watergate. Even Well, he was popular when he was reelected. That's absolutely. Right. That's right. And if if Watergate had not happened, would all of this mattered? Would he would would the fall of Saigon? Yeah, not that he's. And of course, he can't be reelected. Well, I understand, but uh, well, you got to remember also when all that happened, he's in the middle of Watergate. You know, we didn't really. If if there's no ah, fall, uh, if there's no if there's no Watergate, then all of a sudden Saigon, the fall of it, <laughs> takes front and center where it was diluted because well, of Watergate. Yeah, well, but. Maybe it's not so much yeah. that it takes front and center as so much as that it's dealt with better. I think a party switch in 76, if Kennedy loses, a party switch in 76 is inevitable. It's a Yeah, no matter who wins or There's loses in nobody 72. Nobody from Nixon's administration is going to be able to carry forward and, and win in 76. Right. And Even without Watergate. And, and, Watergate and if Kennedy is, is, is saddled with if Kennedy Watergate, is in or not Watergate, but the economy right. and so, OPEC, he can't win either. So if, Plus Vietnam. Yeah, so assuming Thanos is indeed inevitable and Nixon wins again in 72, Bobby Kennedy probably wins in 76. I think he can. I think, yeah, I, I don't we'll see how we... I don't see how that doesn't happen. If yeah, Bobby... Because if, if Carter if Bobby, can beat Ford, then, then Kennedy probably could yeah, too. If, Absolutely, no if question. If Kennedy wants in. That's right. He may take... I'm kind of with Robert here. I think he may take a break, let somebody else come in, See what happens. Maybe but I'm down there. He's they're kind of. I just it just so it's he, he, so he, unprecedented though for any party to nominate the same guy two times in a row in the modern era. Yeah, that's the only thing I fall back on. But he's the Kennedy. Maybe that's he's a just, failure though. Uh-huh. It's just depends that's on the who thing. Controls the machine and all. Yeah. That. See, so that's, with him, if if he doesn't win in '68, and presuming he doesn't win in 72... 68 is not going to count against him. Yeah, it is. But He's still a failed candidate. Well, but he was, he was, he was cut out. Doesn't matter. He's still a failed 72, candidate. 72, he runs again. And I he think he might be on to something because people could see it as he was cut out unfairly. Absolutely. I don't Human know, if, I don't even that know that's even on, in people's awareness, though. Yeah. yeah. No way to know. No I mean... Know. Yeah. If he, doesn't, if he does not get the nomination in 68... 
and, it, and I like your argument that says he doesn't. Hubert Humphrey had I'm not convinced, but I'm willing to accept the premise. If yeah. He doesn't win in he does not get the nomination. Sixty eight. He's still debates. He's he's got it in seventy two. There's no question. I, yeah, I think it's a, he would become president at some point. Oh, yeah, it, and it's just a question if it's seventy two or seventy six. He might have a hard way to go in seventy two against an incumbent Nixon, but that also plays very well. Thing you know that he was robbed. He was a damn good candidate. We're going back with him in seventy six. That's possible. Well, he's also he's going to have a tough time in seventy six yes. against Reagan. That's I yeah, think he is. Now, I'm granted, ready for a change, ready for an outsider, and I still, I, even if he survives a seventy two wins in seventy two, reelects in seventy six, I think we're in the same position. Of yeah, Reagan runs no, against nobody. Uh, yeah, Reagan runs again, and no, 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 say Carter. It could point. very well be Carter. It could very well be Carter. Carter or yeah. Kennedy's vice president or yeah, whoever, whoever. More than likely whoever Kennedy's vice president I is. think that's where this goes. I think Reagan still wins in 80. That's correct. And we're back to where we started. Because he, he yeah, again, Thanos. Everything that happens, inevitable. And that's kind of what we're talking about. Even if Bobby, So not only is Nixon inevitable, Ronald Reagan is inevitable. And that's the best part of all. <laughs> That's kind of what we're talking about here. Because so, if Bobby Kennedy comes in in 72 or 76, it doesn't matter. Say he wins two terms, Ronnie still happens. I think so. I think so. Because yeah, people are so. ready for something completely different at 1980. Because so, um, no, I still think the hostages happen, even if Carter's not there. I think the hostages. Oh, you think it was Bobby Kennedy as the package? Yes, yes, yes. Because yes. 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 I, I don't the Shah, either one of them. The Shah is dead. And they're taking the opportunity of American weakness. Yeah, because I don't. They'll think see that with Robert any, Kennedy. He's not. I don't con- think Kennedy or Carter is seen as a is strong ha- man. Is, yeah, is going to be seen as a, because Kennedy's already said we're getting out of here. So to that mindset in Iran, that's going to be weakness. That would be yeah. his. That would be in many respects his Cuban Missile Crisis. Uh, oh, the hostages. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. absolutely. Now. That and it's good to say. Does he have the inner strength that his brother had? Don't know. Don't know. No way to know. No way to know. Well, if he does, does he launch a rescue mission? And if he does, does he do it at the same time? The helicopters crash in the in the attempt. Yeah. Is, is he it doing still right? A big mess? Is is it now? If it's successful, that's different. That's, that's hugely different. different. That's exactly right. And that and could give the vice diff- president the chops to beat and Reagan. You see, and there's the difference of. If if Kennedy is the strong president that he could be, things Theor- well, change. Could be. Well, anybody could be. We have whipped this horse into yeah. into death. We're at forty two minutes. And oh my gosh! And my, I can tell you, I, I have a we feeling could, that we could hit this for another hour. We and could a half. go along for a long, a long time. I think it's a really great. Postulization. And, and the funny thing is, we didn't even go over the scenario that we had originally come up with, which ended up with Ronald Reagan being elected in 1976. Yeah, we didn't even hit that. That's right, yeah, because we assumed Kennedy was going to be elected in 68, re-elected in 72, Ronnie runs in 76, and he's got it from there. That was our original postulization. Right. Interesting, interesting. Oh, but, you I know, one it. thing that we did get, no matter what happens, if Bobby Kennedy is not killed, he does become president. I think so. I, I yeah. It, it is just a question of when. Yeah, and you know the thing is that so much of the pretty much all of the presidencies from 1968 on through uh, Carter are shaped almost entirely by external events, yeah. with the exception of Nixon burgling the Watergate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know that was him stepping on his own male appendage. Yes. Very well put, sir. Yes, but, yes, yeah. But that's... everything else is driven externally, whether it's the war in Vietnam. There's so little OPEC that's policy yes. that they get to be in charge of, other than say Nixon going to China. Yes, again, that's a that's an accomplishment he drove. That's correct, and we have no idea what Bobby Kemp- Kennedy's accomplishments would be outside of what. What, we know. what else to build on? That's correct. So yeah. that yeah, again, this is a very difficult thing that we're doing. But it's hilarious. It's <laughs> fun. So much fun. Yeah, you it's can only so assume fun. that certain most of the same things are going to happen. That's all we can work with. I think OPEC still happens. That's right. We have to yeah. work with what we know. Did Paul Saigon still happens. Yeah. Um, OPEC the, still happens. The question is just timing. The economic, the energy crisis, yeah. inflation, all those things happens. still happen. It's, it's yeah. still the variables Watergate, really. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the only thing that maybe doesn't happen is Kent State. Possible. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 
But, you know, that's National Guard, so maybe it does. That's state-controlled. Yeah. Thanks for being with us here every week at Snakes and Otters, a pointless discussion of eternal questions. Be sure to spread the word on your social media accounts. Follow us and retweet us. We are on Instagram and on Twitter at Snakes and Otters. Let your friends know that they can find us on Podbean, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, and on YouTube. Just search Snakes and Otters Podcast to find us, and please remember to leave us your comments and reviews. It helps people find us. And you can always send us an email at snakesandotterspodcast at gmail.com. I'm Martin. I'm Robert. And I'm Francis. Catch us next week. Same snake time, same otter channel. Yeah.